Alrighty, so first we have a look at what comes in the box, which is a network cable, which normally plugs into the likes of the back of the PC. Um, but sometimes if you've got a laptop, that will plug into the side. And then we have a USB cable, which will plug into the side if you've got a laptop, sometimes in the back, and in the front or the back of a PC. And also we have the little wireless adapter here, which on one side you'll see that there's a network cable plug, which you plug one side of the cable into, and the USB cable into that side. And once it's plugged in, it should look like something like this. Again, the USB cable is on the side of my laptop here, and that's my network cable but you could also have it on the side or underneath the screen around the back. One thing I did forget to mention is on the side here, if you can actually see it, with any luck. No, but there's a little white switch right there. And it says in the middle position you've got repeater which for this tutorial we'll be using and there's also RT and AP AP stands for access point so you would use that if you were going to turn your normal ADSL modem into a wireless one alrighty so what we want to do is we want to go up to the address bar here and type in 192 Point one six eight, point sixteen, point two five four, and hit enter. This will bring up our main start page, which we want to click on Advanced Settings. Then we want to click on Wireless. We want to go down to SSID. And we can name this anything we want other than the original uh, router name. So in this case, router2, and click apply. Mm -hmm. Now we want to click on security and click on WPAPSK2, and then type in a password. And click apply. Once we've done this, we want to go up to repeater. Choose our original network. Click connect. And then this will prompt us to enter our original network password. And we want to click apply. Once we're done, we want to go up to restart and click restart. Now this will take a while. Now once this is done, you should see the main screen that we started on here. And now all we got to do is reset your computer and the little router, which can take up to two to three minutes once you plug it back in. Uh, just a little bonus if you don't know, you can actually plug the little network cable that I showed you earlier into the computer if it doesn't have wireless and it will provide uh, internet access for you as well otherwise if you're planning on using this as a wireless repeater 
please sure, be sure to connect to that second router we made uh, earlier in the video with the password that you entered and you will have better internet. Well thank you for watching our video and any other questions please feel free to email us.